Hi, I'm Ellie. I am a low vision paraclimber for Team PCH, also known as Paracliffhangers. And today I'm going to do a vlog about training. So today is just going to be one of our social climb sessions with PCH. We meet up at Berkeley Ironworks every Friday in the Bay Area. So let's go with my guide dog and we're going to vlog it. Okay, so off we go. We're heading towards Art here and it's a beautiful kind of overcast day. And here I'm trying to explain that I have two transfers, but unfortunately the audio is really quiet and there's a lot of background noise. Here's my guide dog and we're on the train. I'm also wearing the temporal headphones, um, but here's the wall behind me and then it keeps going up, up, up and up. So that is what the wall looks like. So, yeah. Alright, so this off. is my friend Henry. He is another PCH climber. And he is attempting safety. this really hard and overhung pink route that a lot of us PCH climbers like to challenge ourselves on. Belaying him is Kyle and another friend Ellie. Funny that we have two in this clip. I'm gonna lower the volume here, but you can definitely hear us yelling and supporting him. And what's really cool about his climbing style is he's canvassing. So he's only using his arms because he yes. is a wheelchair user and is unable to use his legs for any support for climbing. So this is a really cool way of climbing and a really hard style. And you can really see him where he's at here. He's trying to get to the next hold, but this was a really hard part of the wall and it starts to get pretty overhung right here. And I actually got stuck in this place too. So when you see me climb, you can compare our two climbing styles. And he's giving such a great fight, but here he comes down in three, right, two, one. All right, so as promised, it's my turn here. So I'm just kind of reading the route here with my hands and Kyle is going to show me where my starting hand holds are. And we're kind of getting myself mentally prepared to starting and I'm asking some questions here about well where do my feet start since there's no tape so I'm kind of trying to map the route out with my feet my hands here before we go and I'm wearing my headset here so off I go with my collar and one of the big things is that this overhang really scared me I got really really terrified of the whole overhang element and I think there was a huge mental blockage there but here I go I'm giving it a great start, a lot of power, a lot of energy, and I, what I notice is I'm kind of just using my feet as little ladder steps up, and I'm not making go. a lot of big dynamic nice. movements with my feet, which that's something I think I want to work on here. But you see, I'm reaching for my chalk bag here. This is where Henry was at, and so I was like, oh gosh, if Henry couldn't make it past there, I... I better chalk up more, but right now I have a chalk ball go. in my bag, and so it's really hard to get chalk. Um, since only a little bit comes out of the chalk ball. So I'm trying to psych myself up to move up to the next spot here and I'm giving it power and my friends are cheering me on. Nice, you got it. And I'm gonna try to bump up here go. and I was able nice to bump, bump up with my right hand. And then my left hand able to move up. I'm really pushing into my legs here and I'm trying to move over. This is a pretty big move here. Yeah, go, go and for I'm the big giving one. it. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to sink back into my arms here. Big and jump, I'm going to give it jump. one last go. And then oh. I fell. You see me nice swinging my job. legs. They're having a good time coming down, though. I'm on the way back from climbing right now. And um, my part train is delayed um, coming back. And it's really late. Uh, so we're just hanging out here, waiting on our train. Uh, I should be here in like 10 minutes. Hopefully, um, but they took one of the trains out due to police activity uh, earlier on the line. So let's hope that our train gets here soon because I want to go to bed because I'm already sore. So really funny story. After my train being delayed for half an hour, I transfer over to MacArthur and my train is delayed again. So here's me patiently waiting for the train. And I got home at maybe 11 o'clock that night. Okay, so I'm finally home. I took a shower and I'm in bed now, but I just wanted to explain my entire travel home. So basically my BART trains, so I had to do like two transfers to get to the station because um, 
it that's 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 just my route and um multiple trains were delayed by 30 minutes because of police activity and so i was just stuck an hour extra longer i wanted to get home before 10 o'clock and i got home at almost 11 o'clock so do not make my curfew <laughs> um but yeah we're going to bed now today was really fun and um, i didn't get to climb as many walls as i wanted to um but the walls that i did climb i took extra time in like feeling out the route and really trying techniques and then also not doing techniques and just kind of buffing it out so i got to figure out my balance between strength and then also really using my legs but i did use them today because they're already sore so i will check in with you guys in the morning and we can see how sore i really am i'm hoping not a lot but i will do my rundown of what we did in the morning so good night all right so good morning it is the next day and i just have to say i'm definitely sore my legs i used them a lot yesterday so we know they're sore so at least we know i used my legs which is something that i'm really trying to start to use my legs more um my arms not so much um just my legs definitely are the more sore element which sucks because i live in a two-story house and i walk up and down stairs so at least i'm getting more cardio in right it's it's dreadful walking upstairs so yesterday in training we it was more of a social climb since that's our usual Friday meetup and that's when you get to climb the walls you want, you get to push yourself if you want, or you get to have fun. But um, I call him Funkel, his name is Kyle. He is one of the like organizers, he's on the board for the Climbing Association in the Bay Area. Um, he's really cool. And he told us, you know what guys, um, today's definitely a fun climb day, but whatever routes you do, I want you to climb twice. And uh, I was like, oh, <laughs> great. I can do that. And we were kind of adjusting to new equipment and different setups since some of, the, some of the top ropes had only a single loop around the little system to let you lower because it was so humid. Well then. Okay, after I was rudely interrupted. So yes, the top rope systems only had one loop around the system where you're lowered because it's been raining and it's been so humid where in one of the gyms we were at it was 98% humidity inside the gym itself so the ropes kept getting stuck you would try to belay them and you couldn't and so a lot of the um, gyms are like okay well we're just gonna make it easier and just do a single loop around on the rope so people can actually climb hopefully and not get stuck However, when we're climbing today, it's not as humid. We're kind of in the middle of a storm right now, but it wasn't raining at all, right? It wasn't very humid, but you're lowered at a quicker rate and you're, more of your body weight is put into that rope when someone's belaying you. So I was belaying my, my friends who were, oh, lighter than me for sure and I was starting to get lifted up in the harness so I felt bad for my friends who had to belay me because I'm a little bit of a bigger lady um I'm so muscular and so strong and I'm tall um and so it was really interesting that that was their workaround system and it, it worked for sure like we were able to belay and everything safely but that was one of the elements we were working with on some of the walls okay so besides that interesting concept of having one loop around and the whole physics behind it. We didn't get to climb as many walls as we wanted yesterday because we were trying out some of the tech we're gonna be using at Nationals. So these are temporal headphones. So they just basically go behind my head here and obviously I'm wearing a beanie, but they would just sit at my head right here and I actually have a clip where I can show you guys me wearing them. But the one thing is, since these are wireless, if I knock these off a certain way, they're falling all the way down on the floor at Nationals, all the way off the wall. And then I wouldn't have used my collar, right? So I'm trying to think of ways to workshop this to where it stays on me. And obviously, you know, the, the first thought is to 
like pin it into my hair which i know a lot of actors since i have a background in theater like with your mics you just you just pin it you, you pin everywhere you possibly can so i might do that or i might think of like a hairstyle or like i've seen a lot of people who go to nationals they wear headbands um but headbands give me a headache so i might try to maybe do a hairstyle to keep this in which I, I think I have some sort of hairstyle in my head that I could do that won't affect uh, my hair getting caught in any play devices or any of my my ropes or gear or anything because um, I've had that happen before but these headphones are really cool they're rented out to us they're CPCH number four that's my headset um, and we basically wear this, my caller and I wear this, and this is how we communicate with each other. So that's why I didn't get as much footage because we were practicing our calling and we really didn't climb as much as like I wanted to personally, but the climbs we did do were a lot of fun. And like Kyle said, we really tried to climb our routes twice. So the first wall I did was a, I believe it was a blue five seven. Um, and it was slightly over hung at the top. And a lot of it was just trusting my body in the overhang and really trusting my legs, which was pretty fun because that's kind of rare for me to like overhangs a lot. Like they're fun, they're challenging, but I don't fully trust them just where I'm at right now in my climbing techniques. And the next one I did, I do have a recording of my friend climbing it and then me attempting. And what's really cool is my friend, he, has a um he's a wheelchair user and so he does not use his legs when he's climbing so he just canvases the, the term is called canvassing when you just use your arms he just canvases up the wall whereas when i climb i'm able to use my legs and stuff and you can just see the difference in pure strength and technique of my friend and i which i'm just blown away by that and uh that wall was really hard it was a really tall wall and the last wall i did I didn't record it at all, which I'm so mad about because it was a really cool wall. It's a, it's a 510B and it's this nice little yellow route that has a lot of fun elements where you can do knee drops and um, it kind of like goes across the wall and up and you get to shift a little bit and really think about moving your body to the side and then back over here. Oops, I need to do the splits. Um, and it's really fun. There's kind of like this shelf that people like to climb on top of and stand up once you get up there and you just kind of can reach to the top hold if you're tall enough. But I can only get one hand over to the top hold standing on the shelf. So I, I do have to get back on the wall and then be able to top it. But it's a really fun little cheat, I guess, um, for that wall. A lot of people don't consider it cheating because why would that part of the wall be there if you can't stand on top of it? And there's route stuff set up around it. It just hasn't been a route for a while. Like when you stand on top of the shelf, there are dust bunnies everywhere. Like there's just a thick blanket of dust, which so gross, I know, but it, it's kind of funny. So I really hope soon they set up another route there, but I don't I don't know if that's gonna be really anytime soon. I also did that pink wall, which way above my grade, way above any of my training, um, which is very little training, mind you, since I'm still really new to this. I actually started climbing uh, consistently in November and it's January. So I'm going straight, straight in, head first into stuff, but, um, you know, I just, I really had fun with the routes that I did. And I think that's the most important part of doing social sessions, especially because we were practicing our calling and my caller, we both figured out that we both like Steven Universe. And so we were trying to figure out how we can listen to the Steven Universe songs while she's calling for me. And it went really silly because we have the headsets on and she can hear me, I can hear her. And as I'm climbing the wall, it goes into me like heavily breathing and being like, is this a good hold? And she's like, oh, well, I mean, yeah, but there's like another hold if you just bump up a little bit. Um, it's, it's really silly. We're trying to figure out a language of our own for like a shorthand calling system. But with my training right now, so I have, you know, the Fridays one, which that's like our social climb. And then I have a Sunday session with my caller and another friend of mine who's going to nationals. 
and on Tuesdays that's our real heavy training endurance days so maybe I'll add in another day eventually but for now I think I like the after Tuesday the Wednesday Thursday break until Friday because I feel like I'm on a pretty consistent like okay three days a week is really good in my head oh so yeah that was my climbing experience I know Kyle told us to try to climb 10 walls because you know if you do five routes and you climb them twice then bam 10 routes right uh, I only probably climbed five <laughs> realistically I only climbed five routes um, because I, I told you all the routes I did and the last the yellow route I only did that once I could have done it twice but I really just wanted my my fun mess around route of the the yellow 10b to just be it for the night um i i still push myself on the walls that i did do but it was more of a social session for me and i am still so sore from it so i can't imagine uh the sessions so i do climbing sessions with my caller and another friend on sundays and then i do our actual endurance and training session on Tuesdays and then I give myself some nice little rest days until Friday when we do our next climb. So I might try to throw in another training day depending on how I feel like I'm doing. If not, I might just take that rest day from Tuesday to Friday, um, which would be nice. I could get my schoolwork done since I'm in college while I'm trying to train for nationals, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I know for sure coming up for me, Thursdays are gonna be hard. Okay, and real quick, before I go, I want to show everyone the chalk bag that my brother got me. It is Chat Cat. It is one of the cute animal chalk bags, and it is a gray cat with a cute little, like, smug face, little tongue sticking out, and an eyebrow raised. Um, and then it has orange ears, and it's holding an orange little fishy. It's really soft too, and I'm kind of scared to put chalk in it just because I don't want Chat Cat to age with chalk. But I think I want to ch take Chat Cat to nationals with me. And if not, Chat Cat will be purely aesthetics. Uh, I'll wear a secondary chalk bag just for Chat Cat. But yeah, this is a really cute chalk bag. And if you guys want to get the animal ones, I kind of recommend it. They're really cute. Because at first I thought I'd be like really simplistic and then get just one of the like solid color ones but chat cat we're here for chat cat plus i like how much like space chat cat has on the inside like there's it's a good amount of space in here to hold your chalk and then stick your hand in it it has a pretty wide i'm um, opening up here so i don't have to like squeeze my hand into the chalk bag and i just can throw my hand in there and then grab my chalk and then be like oh yes take all my sweat away so this is this is chat cat this is my new friend so yeah hope you guys enjoyed my vlog and i will see you guys in the next one bye